Dream, search, drive. Cars.coza. Budget insurance. Affordable because you can't afford not to. Everyone knows it's pretty obvious that electric cars are fast. It's not difficult for an electric car to be fast. But can electric cars be enjoyable to drive? Can you get the chassis dynamics and the feel and the steering feel to a point where a driver or a motorist who's looking for a rewarding experience from their sports car will feel satisfied? So the arrival of the electric era for BMW presented some challenges, maybe more than for many other brands, say for instance Volvo, which is a company that doesn't particularly sell its products based on the excellence of its drivetrains or the performance of its vehicles. However, BMW, especially any BMW with the M badge, that, well, that's all about the drivetrain, that's all about the dynamics, that's all about the handling. and so. The challenge for those engineers was to try and make an electric vehicle that had that BMW DNA in it, that imbued some of the character and the driving characteristics and the chassis dynamics of what people have come to expect from BMW M cars into something with an electric drivetrain. Now I've been lucky to drive quite a few electric vehicles now and the problem is that the way electric motors deliver their power and the fact that there's absolutely no noise means that the drivetrain cannot help distinguish between cars. It makes all cars feel almost entirely the same. You get into a BMW iX and it drives pretty much the same as a Tesla and that's no one's fault, it's not Tesla's fault, not BMW's fault. It's just the fact that you're working with the same sort of tools here and there's no, you know, there's no noise. So it's not like a Jaguar sounds different to an AMG, which sounds different to an Audi, which sounds different to a BMW. There's none of that. So how do you distinguish your car, your EV from the manufacturer next to you? So what's happening underneath me here? Well, you've got all wheel drive because there's two motors, one on each axle. They're big motors. Each motor produces about 200 kilowatts and 400 Newton meters. So you end up with 400 kilowatts and 800 Newton meters total system output. And the crazy thing is, this is almost certainly not going to be the fastest i4. They're, they're probably going to release the M60, which is just going to be insane really i mean we're already at supercar performance here the thing is when you're on it and you're experiencing all this car's power and torque and its insane ability to accelerate you sort of forget that you're actually in a large four-door sedan with lots of space in the back seat and a big boot so the fact that this thing is chasing mclarens up the hill at samola is pretty incredible so McLaren is not a particularly practical car, not really space for five adults in there. Welcome to the interior of the BMW i4 M50. In some ways, 
quite different to say a 4 series but in some ways very very similar so down here is your iDrive control which you can use to control the infotainment system but this is also touch screen there are your driving modes there's your start button which in the Volvo I drove yesterday electric Volvo there just wasn't one so BMW still wants you to have that experience of switching the car on and off and you do get this Hans Zimmer tone every time you do so so this is the new i system from bmw very fancy very smartphone-esque lovely curved screen looks like one piece in front of you but i wanted to show you what's happening over here because this is where the most important information is given to the driver so on your right is the e-power count now that is the amount of kilowatt hours you're using at an instantaneous moment at any particular moment so you can see how much of the motor's power you're using to go forward or backwards there's your speed that's obviously just not particularly hard to understand and then in the middle here is your instantaneous consumption and then when you're on the go it'll show you your average consumption so when you're standing still it changes to kilowatt hours per hour so that's how many kilowatt hours it's using per hour of you just standing here in the car running its electrics and its aircon and all the rest of it so when you're on the go that will change to kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers and that's the best way of understanding how much energy you're using and therefore how much it costs to travel a certain distance in your electric car so if you're coming out of a car that does 10 liters to the 100 that's 10 liters of fuel 250 bucks at the moment to do 100 kilometers in this car you should average around 23 24 kilowatt hours which is a price of around 60 rand so 250 250 rand versus 60 bucks to do 100 k's that's how much radically cheaper an electric vehicle is to run now when it comes to charging you've got an 81 kilowatt hour battery in here well that's the usable amount it's slightly larger than that but what bmw have done is they've made this car able to cope with a serious amp load and that means that you can shove in serious power at the charging station so it will take up to a 350 kilowatt charger which is really impressive we do not have a 350 kilowatt charger in south africa but we do have 150 kilowatt chargers and that'll pretty much charge this battery absolutely full from zero to 100 in about half an hour however if you're plugging in at home and you've got your wall box which bmw gives you for free installed into your db board then you're getting about 11 kilowatts out of the charger and then this will charge up full in about eight hours so you're looking at basically an overnight charge if the car is completely empty so there we go that's your interior that's how you run your car that's how you charge your car as you can see not a massive departure from what we're used to but in my opinion special enough to make you feel like you're driving something different Driving an electric BMW is slightly different in the way you operate it compared to other EVs. For instance, you've got modes. The Volvos don't really do modes, so you've got Sport, Comfort and Eco Pro. And then in each of those, you've got three, so that's nine driving modes. Then you've got a quick choice between regen on or regen off. And you don't have to dig into the menus like you do on some Porsches, for instance. You just bang this across and your D turns to a B and now you've got one pedal driving. And I quite like that. It feels like you are involved in the operation of the machine. But all that sort of thing, that's just kind of semantics. It's not that important, is it? What's more important is how the car feels, how the car drives, how it rewards the driver when you put your foot down and when you push it through some corners. So let's put it into sport see how that feels sport boost right we've got all 400 kilowatts and 800 newton meters of torque under my right foot
full permanent all-wheel drive with torque vectoring happening between all four tires all the time. You can sort of feel the computers working underneath you to make sure that you've got maximum traction and that you don't drive into a combine harvester. It's very exciting out here today. I think of all the performance cars that I've ever driven, this is the one that is the easiest to be fast in. Let's throw it into this corner. Good front end bite. Car pivots around itself. It really is pretty good to drive. And just so damn fast. The only thing slowing this car down, and it's the only thing it can't do anything about, is the sheer weight of it. We're at 2.2 tons here, but that's not massively heavier than say the M3 or the M4. Those are up at about 1.8 tons now. And so this car has no choice but to drag its own weight around. But in my opinion, it does a wonderful job of hiding that weight. Yes, we're on air suspension here and the air suspension is working hard to keep the car level as well, but you don't have as much body roll as you think you should have from a 2.2 ton car. And when you throw it into a corner, it sort of pivots around itself because all of the weight is between the axles. And so all of that results in, dare I say it, shock and horror, an enjoyable drive. And I think of all the EVs I've driven so far, this one gets the closest to making you feel like you're having a sports car experience, like you're being rewarded as a driver. Look, it's not there yet. Don't get me wrong, it's not there yet. It's not an M3 or an M4, but it's getting there. And it is cheaper than an M4, a lot cheaper. With prices starting at 1.6 million for the i4 M50, that makes it nearly 500,000 Rand cheaper than an M4 Competition X-Drive. It also has more power and torque than the M4, but with all that weight, it is slower. Where the i4 sprints from 0 to 100 in 3.9 seconds, the M4 does the same in 3.5 seconds. The M4 is still a better sports car and represents the best of BMW's past. However, as a practical, enjoyable daily, the i4 is just about perfect. And after driving it, I'm much more excited about this brand's future. Coming up soon is our film on me racing this car at the Nyes the Hill Club. I can't wait to share that all with you. But in the meantime, tell us what you think of this i4 M50. And um, maybe subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Cool, alrighty, give it some thought. In the meantime, I'm out of here. Cheers, thanks very much for watching, be safe, bye. Thanks for watching. Now, did you know that Cars.coza has a brilliant app? It's actually one of the most popular apps in South Africa, and that's because it's actually really bloody good to use. You can save your favorites. So while you're shopping, you know, if you're taking a couple of weeks to shop, you just save your favorites so you don't lose them. And it's also a brilliant way of finding new car specs and pricing. It's incredibly detailed. I use it all the time. The link to the app is in the description below. You can get it on iOS and Android and it's in the Huawei app gallery, I think it's called. Yes, that is what it's called. Cool, alrighty, and I'm done. Good? Okay. Budget insurance. Affordable, because you can't afford not to. Dream, search, drive. Cars.coza.